Hello and welcome to the news at when. When? Over a thousand years ago, when Vikings were always invading British shores. Here to tell us all about it is Bob Hale with the Viking Report. Bob. Thank you, Sam. Well, it's 786 AD and all calm at the moment with lots of happy English people, or Saxons as I like to call them, spread across the whole country. But I'm afraid it's not going to last. You can see here a nasty Viking front sweeping in from the northeast, causing heavy damage to both monasteries and indeed monks before heading back off to Scandinavia. But not for long. Here they come again. And this time there's lots more of them and they just won't go away. But luckily, a strong band of Saxons led by King Alfred pushed back up across the country, creating a front here with the Saxons to the south and the Vikings to the north. But in 920 AD, the Saxons say no, enough is enough. And they retake the north, making the whole of England Saxon again. And that is the end of that. Or so we thought, here come those Vikings again. And a Saxon king called Ethelred doesn't like fighting, so he tries to pay them not to fight. But they just take his money and invade anyway, those Vikings. And before long, the Vikings are absolutely everywhere. And in 1017, we even get a Viking king. Let's call him Canute, because that's his name. And everyone just shuts up and gets used to it. But not for long. After a whole succession of kings, some Saxons, some Viking, we end up with a Saxon one again. Let's call him Harold because that's his name. And before you know it, it's 1066. Sound familiar? Probably. Very famous. Vikings invade from the north. They want the crown. And while Harold's fighting them off, the Normans from France invade the south. They say the crown belongs to their king, William the Conqueror. There's a massive battle in Hastings. Let's call it the Battle of Hastings because that's what it was called. And Harold gets shot in the eye and then cut into little pieces. Not a great day. Poor lad. However, William the Conqueror just conquers England. And all the Saxons, who were so worried about the Vikings, end up being conquered by the Normans. I mean, fancy that. So, in summary, lots of nasty men, big axes, just don't go outside. Back to you, Sam. <laughs>